Now, um, I've heard rumours that you're a bit of a radical on the island. Oh, God, no. You mean because I disagree with nearly everything? <laughs> so, so, Maya, what's it like working for this guy? A nightmare. <laughs> Is it? No, it's not too bad. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. And all these uh, silly ideas that people come up with, I just tend to look at the, what could be the downside of it. And people don't like to hear the downside. They only like to see, hear the upside. All oh, right. So when I point out the downside, then I'm being a defeatist or a, a pessimist. Yeah, how long have you been here? Uh, this is my 17th year. So 90. 19, 1989 we came. So you like it? I love it. We just built a new house. Um, just finished this year, so uh, yeah, I'm committed now. What I like about Jura is the camera is taking the picture now. It is the wide open space. You can't really get this anywhere else in Britain except in the west of Scotland. Each island has its magic, and each islander from every island will swear blind that his island is the best. Well, to me, there's no place like Jura. I'm from Sweden, the north of Sweden. So how do you like living on a small island like this? I like it a lot, actually. Well, Very what, happy. What do you like about it? Um, that the people are so genuine, I think. People care about each other. It doesn't get too quiet for you? No, it doesn't, actually. You haven't seen the killer dances at the night. I have not been born on Jura, but I've been here uh, for a very long time and it means that I'm the oldest man in, but just by age. So when you say you, you weren't born on Jura, does that mean you're accepted? Uh, to, a, to a certain degree, yes, we're accepted because we've been here now for nearly 40 years and uh, part of the community and the people know us very well naturally and uh, in fact we have been here uh, before very many of the people who are here now. So we, we are, in, in a way, built in with the walls, but not terribly well built in. <laughs> so, so you're not quite an institution yet? Not quite an institution. But uh, having worked on the island for many years, uh, one has, becomes accepted, naturally. Now, I noticed this morning you turned a customer away. Who was that? They turned a the customer away? Well, with the biscuits. Oh, no, I didn't turn her away. I just told her that somebody had already bought them. So. But you could have sold two packets. Yeah, but that's not morally right, is it? You know, I mean, I might be a grumpy old bugger and I might be all the things that I am, but I'm not, I'm not out to make a quick book out of somebody. I'm here for the long term. The church is very much at the centre of the island, both geographically, socially and spiritually. Oh gosh, <laughs> they're filming out here. <laughs> Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Good morning Jack. Rob. You're getting around pretty good this morning. Yes, not bad at all. Not bad at all. You know, we can sort of uh, do a what? few kicks now. Wow, you're nearly ready to go jogging. We're well, not quite, no, no. I'm told, in fact, uh, they glue this knee in. The new knee. Oh, really? Uh, in some way, as well as sort of pinning it, and they glue it, and you can't start running. By the end of September, we have music festival service, which figures in the music festival weekend. And just in September, there we had church full. The gallery was full, and when it came to taking up the offering, folks in the gallery were making little aeroplanes, paper aeroplanes, with their offerings and throwing them down. And Jack Payton, that you'd already spoken to, was hit in the nose <laughs> by a flying missile, which happened to be a pound note. But I mean, it was amazing to think the folks in the gallery, they said, right, here's their offering. And it was really pennies from heaven uh, in, in that respect. But this is part of what happens in the community. Anything special like that, folks support. And uh, I even actually stripped. I took my clerical shirt off to show my music festival t-shirt and this caused Ferrari as it were you know the minister's doing a strip that would have raised church. a lot of money wouldn't it yeah well it did actually that's right good morning <laughs> Anna. how are you going I'm gone oh you're not <laughs> come on 
you know, it's not fair. Have you put that on? Yeah. Was the service okay. good this morning? Yes, it was. It was excellent, as usual. Yes, you should have come in. Why didn't you? Well, we were waiting to ambush you out here. Oh, I see. Right. Well, better ambush somebody else. <laughs> you might miss the minister. How did you get on here? Can you cut it off? How did you get on yesterday? Well, possibly came to Jordan for the same reason I'm here. The, the camera will show you the space, the peace and the beauty this island has to offer. In the summertime, of course, it's vastly different from the winter. And the winter has a sort of stark beauty of the bleakness of the hill with very, very little variety in colour. Whereas in the su summertime, this hill, these hillsides are one mass of colour with all the various flowers and the bird life of course is considerable and the animal life today we may see stags and uh, deer but this the Jura is the Isle of Deer it's a Norse name which uh, relies on our past that we were ruled from Norway until about the the 12th century. This time of the year in November, October, December, we're watching the sunrise, if we see the sunrise, is going further and further south on that horizon. It reaches a point that it then it'll start coming back. Of course, we have our calendars and our watches, we know, but those people didn't know and when they were watching the sun gradually head south and they didn't quite know whether it was going to come back or whether it was going to disappear forever. I have got to say it, I know that feeling because right now I, the darkness of the days, we cannot wait till we start seeing the sun rise advancing along that horizon until it comes right into the, almost into the northeast, and that's midsummer again. So the changing seasons were the most important thing to the ancient people who lived on the island. F survival, it comes to. I think the people who have been brought up here, and those who've lived here for many years, are very appreciative of the, the creative nature of Jura. I think the fact of the environment, the beauty of the place, the fact the weather can change instantaneously, these things all add to the mix of character that people have here. In a way, this is what anyone living in, in isolation, living like my wife and I do, we survive uh, by trying to make as much of uh, producing our own food and everything as we can. People are very accepting in Jura. It's a hard place to live in in many respects. Economically at times it can be very deprived. But there's an enrichment in lives of the people. And if you find someone is in particular need the community respond greatly to that. Just almost a year ago, we had a 53-year-old man who had been diagnosed with uh, brain cancer. He'd been brought up on the island here, had returned only a few months previously with his wife. This was their dream to return to Jura. Uh, George was his name. And George, having been diagnosed with a brain tumour, was taken into a hospital in Glasgow operated on, and that day when he was operated on, I, as the minister here, could almost feel the prayers of the people. Not people who fill the pews every Sunday, but just ordinary folks who have a simple faith in God and who know in times of trouble they can pray. And I've never experienced that in over 30 years. And it was as if I could have reached out and touched the prayers of these people, for George and his wife and for the family. That's the kind of place that Jura is. These are the kind of folks that you have. It's like paradise. It's the, the place is fantastic. It's beautiful scenery, beautiful 
atmosphere. You know, everybody's real. Generally, 99% of the people are really nice. Um, it's like a big family. Everybody looks after each other. And my son's got a great time here. He's got a boat and a quad, and no worry for children. They're not going to get abducted or hurt. The only accident, the only thing that can happen is an accident. So it's great. Don't you ever get bored. Now, there's no answer to that sort of question because every time I drive along this road, it is different. All the people I meet are different. And in doing so, it all adds colour to my life. <laughs>